In these days of chaos and insanity, we can all use a little good news. Let's look on the bright side with Mike Waters on 105.7 KOKZ. Uh, I'll tell you, I love getting a good local story on the bright side. And this one out of Davenport, one day after his 64th birthday, Rick Burke, who is a COVID-19 patient, just went home after 99 days in the hospital. And that includes six weeks in quarantine in the ICU before he tested negative. So his wife, Kathy Burke, Burke says the nurses who took care of him are the real heroes. How can you argue with that? They are the heroes. I don't know what we've done without him. Took care of him like he was their own. Our general doctor said, you know, I honestly at one point, Randy gave you 20% chance to make it. To have him be at the stage he is now, although we thought 14 weeks was a long time and it is, there have been others that have been longer and you just have to stay strong and keep pushing on, you know, keep giving them, trying to give them hope. So that is awesome. And uh, this is pretty awesome too, I have to say. Three teenage girls in Ireland, they spent three months in lockdown working on an app called Memory Haven that helps people with dementia. And it's a collection of games and tasks that help prevent memory loss. So it just won huge international competition, beating out 1,500 other teams from 62 countries. Our app has six main features, a health check, um, a photo wallet, a music playlist, reminder alerts, a reach out feature, and there's also a memory game feature which allows users to strengthen their cognitive ability in a fun way. The reach out feature, which is a platform that we created so the people living with dementia can contact their friends, families, caregivers, doctors, and emergency contacts. Well, the music playlist feature works in conjunction with our facial recognition feature and it detects the mood of the user, so it plays playlists based on their mood. So if they were sad, it would play a playlist to write. So, way to go, three teens. What were you doing as a teenager? I don't even want to tell you. All right, finally, uh, there's a 102-year-old woman went skydiving for the very first time. It's on her bucket list, and she did it. She finally she finally went skydiving for the first time, and here's how that sounded. I'm going to do a skydive. Sometimes it's called a tandem jump. Well, you're an inspiration to all of us, so thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Are you nervous, Annie? Probably a little bit. Now, you push me out before you come out. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to go on an adventure, but I, I, I think we should go together. I felt like I was tumbling. <laughs> Just for a minute. And then I thought, you know, somebody's holding on to me. It was wonderful. A real thrill. Well, it, it sounds like she is maybe 50. She sounds like she's got a lot of energy. So way to go. How about that for a look on the bright side? And if you ever have a local bright side story, I would love to hear from you. You, you can always shoot us a message on Facebook. You can call 364-1057 or 234-1057. I would love to hear from you.